Today here on Blue Shift Ministries, we're going to talk about demonic connections. Viewer discretion is advised. Please place your children in the other room. I want to go deeper into demonic connections. And I'm going to use a very powerful example. I'm going to use, and this is not to feel that I'm picking on anyone. No, I'm just going to use these two particular nationalities in two particular cultures because there is a demonic connection. Mexico and Japan, Mexicans and the Japanese. The demonic connection between the two is both worship death. Let me say this again. The demonic connection between the two is both worship death. I'm going to go deep into this. In the Mexican culture, you will notice this when you go to Mexico. If anyone has been to Mexico, you will notice that they believe in certain demonic entities that are death related. Many would say then what's the connection between Japan because many Mexicans like Japan and many Japanese like Mexicans. There are there is a, a Japanese culture that makes those Mexican cars um, um, uh, um, low riders, I believe they're called low riders. And the Japanese, they love cars, yet they chose the low rider af, out of all the cars. Doesn't make too much sense that they would choose the low rider over other cars that are, I would say, far more fancier. That a low rider is rather simple. And, and, and quite a nice, no, I'm not a big car person, but if you're a big car person, I guess you could appreciate a low rider. It's because the low rider is demonic. Low rider. Low. And who rides low? Lucifer and principalities. Low rider. In Japan, they have demonic entities that believe in it. There's a lot of apparitions in Japan. There's a, there's a suicidal situation. There's suicidal stations in Japan and Korea too. Suicide so parks in Japan. So you see the connection that the Mexicans and Japanese could very well be in each other's bloodline, but not as you think it. It's because there is a spiritual bloodline. There's physical blood and a spiritual bloodline. The spiritual bloodline, it could be the same demonic entity as they worship. It just changes because Lucifer always changes his particular image, the wolf in sheep's clothing situation. But he does this in many different ways. He does this in many, you have to understand. You, I, want to, I want all of you to focus, please. Focus, focus, focus. That you see how evil and manipulative Lucifer is. He, this is the same entity. Whether it is another, I'm not going to name demonic names because that will be offensive to follow in this channel. Those who are Mexicans, those who are Japanese, you know what I'm talking about. You know what you believe in, you know what you practice. That you have certain names for demonic entities in Japan, those who are Japanese. You have certain demonic entities that you believe in and worship in Mexico, if you're Mexican. And you worship them. When it is the same demonic entity, it's the same thing. What Lucifer did, he changed it. So that way, those demonic entities could fit your culture. Will fit the Mexican culture, that will fit the Japanese culture, but it's the same evil demonic entity. They just look different. You have to be careful with these things in Japan, which I do enjoy the culture. We all love anime. I do enjoy anime. But you have to be careful with certain demonic entities that look cute and adorable. Because when you go closer to it, there is a demonic presence there. You have to be very careful when you go to Mexico because things in Mexico are very, very open. You can pretty much do whatever you want there. That do as that wilt, evil demonic spirit. These are demonic altars. The connection is death, and that is something that you have to fight. So every one of Mexican and Japanese descent, you have a connection with each other, but it is not in a good way. Now, how to break this? May you two come together to break it and come to Christ. In Japan, Christianity is only 2%. In Mexico, there's a contradiction of hypocrisy as they believe in Christianity, but yet they believe in other issues that are demonically related. You cannot have it both ways. Is either you for Christ or you for Lucifer? Is either you for the Most High, Jehovah Jireh? You either for Jesus or you're not. You cannot have it both ways. So let us pray. In the name of the blood of Jesus Christ, Son of David, may every Japanese, every Mexican, every Mexican, every Japanese that is watching this video, please share this video with as many Japanese and Mexicans as you can. May you two come together and come to Christ. May you come to the kingdom. May you believe in Christ. May you repent. Repent for believing in those evil entities. May you repent for it. And come to the kingdom. Come to the kingdom. Come to the kingdom. I bind all those demons. I bind every Japanese demon. I bind every Mexican demon. I bind every Mexican demon. I bind every Japanese demon. They're all false. 
to the Japanese, you're believing in those evil entities that make you suicidal. That is what those shrines do. Shrines promote suicide. To all the Mexicans that believe in those evil dark entities, it promotes violence. There's so much violence in Mexico and drug cartel. It's because you're giving them power through these evil demonic entities. They make you believe that's the only way to live. That's a lie. The devil is a liar. They make you believe that this is the only way. That is not the only way. The only way is through Christ. Do not get caught up in the evil demonic connections with other cultures. Oh, we believe in the same thing. It's cool. No, it's not cool. Oh, we believe in the same thing. So we're brothers and sisters. Yes, you're a brother and sister in Christ. You have to be brothers and sisters in Christ. Because that's the only way you can be a brother. Because that's the only way you can be a sister. If you're with Christ. Remember who you serve. We serve a God who never dies and always rises from the kingdom of the Most High. We must fast, repent, always be obedient and bloodline cleanse. Believe in Jesus always, amen. And I think I'm going to do a series on demonic connections between cultures. So this way all of you can get a better understanding in how many different images, apparitions, demonic entities, demonic altars, evils, demons that Lucifer uses. Lucifer uses many different faces, but it's the same source. Never forget this. Believe in Jesus always. Amen.